Hi, this is Jeff, and we're going to talk about recording a VO directly into Premiere Pro, essentially recording a narration track. You know the routine, you've got a montage and it's going to need something underneath, and it may end up being your voice, or maybe the talent's not going to be available for two weeks, but you need to start cutting today. That's where this technique comes in perfect. You'll see I've got a timeline set up already on, already laid out with some clips. I've got just the nat sound on these shots. And for this, I want to come up to the audio mixer, because that's where we're going to get all of our work done. At the very top, it says built-in input. That's my track input channel. That's the microphone we have plugged in. Now, if you don't have a microphone plugged in, you're going to want to come to the audio hardware and specify where that microphone is. So you've got to obviously have a microphone plugged in to record, but this is how you tell Premiere Pro which input to listen to. With this being set up, we're going to say I want to record on this track. and I probably want to solo it. I probably don't want to hear the other audio. Let's in fact name the track so we know which one it's going to end up on. Narration. And you can see it changed on the timeline. Okay, I've primed it for recording. I've got my input set up. I'm soloing it so I'm not hearing anything else. And I'm going to record to it. When I hit the play button, it'll start to record. And notice that you have the play to in and out button next to it. This is great. This means you could just put an in and out on a section of your timeline. One thing before we start recording, I want to come up here and say, switch meters to input only. This way you'll be able to see my voice on the meters and you'll know if you're talking too quietly or too loud. So with this setup, I'm just going to back up my playhead and I'm going to hit play and start my recording. Here we go. We went to the Rainbow Vista and we took some photographs. We used our cameras and we shot some flowers and we shot some vistas and we shot some trees. When I hit stop, you can see Premiere Pro has added it to the timeline. And when I roll it open, you can see the waveform there as well as the clip being added to my project. 